Okay guys, it's Kevin again, and this is going to be my review for The Fosters Season 1, Episode 18, Escapes and Reversals. This was my favorite episode of the season. Um, this was just such a great episode, a uh, game changer episode for me. There was so much to take in in this episode. A lot of, uh, you know, a lot of changes in this episode, a lot of twists and turns as well. One of the biggest twists of the Fosters was in this episode, and I thought that was great. I really loved the twist in this episode. I just, I thought that it was a great twist. It was really, it really was. Um, but let's just get to this episode, which I felt is, again, the strongest episode of the entire season. It just was really, really good. Let's just get to it. So, um, so let's first get to Jesus, because Jesus was, believe it or not, the main plot in this episode. Um, I really enjoyed his plot a lot. Um, Jesus's plot is pretty much that he, um, you know, Jesus wanted to, you know, Emma told him straight out, break up with Lexi, I don't do cheating. He's about to send her this email, and uh, he sends it to her. But then, when he goes downstairs, you know, just to throw it to us right away, there's Lexi. Lexi has come home to surprise him. And I was so surprised by this reveal. This is like the best twist of the season for me because I would have never ever expected to see Lexi again. I thought we were never going to see her again. So I right, right away he immediately deletes the email because he's, you can see he still has feelings for Lexi. Definitely still has feelings for her. And he's talking to Emma and he's telling her, you know, he doesn't really tell her that Lexi's back, but then she can see that Lexi is back, and, uh, it's not gonna be, it's not really a good thing for him. So Lexi and Jesus are trying to, you know, have some time, you know, they're trying to make up for some time together and things like that. Um, it, you know, you still see that the two of them do still love each other, definitely Lexi loves Jesus. And everything seems to be going well for them, until Lexi looks at Jesus' phone. And, um, she actually sees the email, um, on Jesus' phone. She's about to take a picture of him in wrestling. Now, we do see that he is still, uh, taking, he's kind of taking, he's taking the pills now, so that's a good thing. And he was starting to get a little bit drowsy, but then, um, he actually did pretty well with it, so that's good. And she's taking a picture on her phone, and she sees the email right there. So, she doesn't know what else to do. They're about to have sex, you know, it looks like he's trying to have sex with her. And before they have sex, though, she kind of makes up this lie to him that she cheated on him with another guy in, um, wherever, I forgot where she was, that she was living. But wherever she was, that's what happened. She said she cheated on him. And you can tell right away that this story is fake. She only said this to him because she thought that he wanted to break up with her, which he did, but only because of Emma. Now, he had just got done telling Emma that... You know, they would not they will not work out because um Lex he likes Emma, he really likes Emma, but he loves Lexi. And uh Lexi breaks up with him, so now Lexi and Jesus, they're done. They're done. So what's gonna happen with Emma and Jesus? We're really I'm really not sure at this point. I don't know if they're gonna be together. I'm assuming that they will, but I'm really not sure. Jesus just went through a very hard breakup and we're just gonna have to see what happens between the two of them. And I I am liking where this is going because I think it's a really good storyline for Jesus this season. At first I wasn't sure how the storyline was going to go, but now I'm really into this, uh, this, that storyline. I think that was definitely my favorite storyline of the episode. Now let's go to Callie and Brandon. Um, we're first going to talk about Brandon. Now Brandon is still going down a very bad path. We did find out that the Kindles were delivered. We did find that out, that the Kindles were delivered, and, uh, at this point, Lena and Seth do not want Callie to visit Daphne or, or, um, Kiara because they think that they're bad influences on her, so they don't want her to go near them, uh, they just want her to stay away from them, so that's what she's gonna do. Brandon, however, his, his supposed friend of his is a terrible friend of him, you know, when he finds out that he took back the Kindles, he's really upset with him and things like that, just, he is not a nice guy at all, definitely a very, very bad friend. Um, I don't know if I'd even consider him a friend, because a friend is someone who relies on you and, you know, doesn't, uh, doesn't beat you up and things like that. Definitely not his friend at all. And eventually he does come clean about what he's doing, because, uh, Mike's, um, Mike's 
girlfriend, you know, with a pink girlfriend, starts to get very suspicious about what Brandon's doing. And she says, you know, you can always come talk to me if you have a problem. And I like that. I like that she is a nice girl. She wants to help Brandon. And he tells her the truth that he owes Mike $800. And, you know, when Mike finds out about this, he gives him the $800. So pretty much uh, Brandon's, Brandon's uh, dark road, it's pretty much over because this all was, if you remember, this all was done to give Mike back the $800. The only reason he did this was to give him the $800. Now that he has those $800, this is pretty much done. And it's going to be interesting to see what else happens here because um, now we know that he gave him back the $800. What's his next move going to be? Is he going to put this kid in jail? It's going to, what, what is he going to do to this kid? I don't even remember the name of this kid, but what is he going to do to him? That's, that's the question that I want to know. I thought his storyline still well, was definitely very, very strong. Now, as far as Callie goes, Callie and Jude are told that this, if before they can be adopted, and this was a pretty big reveal as well, um, Stephen Lee tells them this, before they can be adopted, they, yep. their father has to get the uh, approval for them to um, be adopted. Now, they're not really sure if their father is going to approve of them being adopted because they haven't seen their father in a very long, you know, they haven't seen their father in years. They're not sure if he's going to approve of it. And they just, they don't really know if he's just, if he's going to. So they're not really sure. And what ultimately ends up happening is that, you know, what ultimately ends up happening is that Jude tells Callie that he wants, he's going to go visit him. And Callie says she's not. But then at the end, we see him open the door to Callie. Callie is going to visit him. And this is going to be very interesting to see what happens to me when she goes to visit him. I'm definitely interested in seeing that. Um, definitely that was pretty big. We, we do also see that Brandon and Callie are definitely starting to drift apart. They're really starting to drift apart. Uh, they're not really friends anymore or anything. You know, they're just, they're really starting to drift apart. And Callie cannot trust Brandon. So if Brandon wants to move back in or something like that, I don't think they're going to trust him. It's going to be interesting to see what happens there as well. But still very very strong love that plot um and i loved every single plot in this episode it was a really really great one and uh so now then we have lena now let's just go to lena really quick lena's plot was that they're still trying to figure out what to do ultimately they decided that they're going to use um the one guy's name i can't remember his name oh shit i can't remember his name sorry guys um that guy that they were going to use as a sperm donor, they're going to use him. And uh, that's, that's all we really have for Seth and Lena's Claws, that they're going to use the guy who was this, who wanted to be a sperm donor. They're going to use him. So that's a good thing. I'm definitely interested in seeing, you know, what else is going to uh, end up happening there. So that, that was a very strong plot, and I really did enjoy that plot a lot. I thought it was, um, you know, it was a really good plot, I think. So that was, um, that was, um, Lena's plot. And then lastly, Mariana's plot. Mariana's plot, I really enjoyed Mariana's plot a lot because Mariana's plot is getting very, uh, interesting. Kind of went in a you know, direction I didn't expect it to go in. Now, as we know, she's now trying to get closer with, uh, with Zach. Now, she tells Lexi all about Zach. And, uh, at first Lexi's like, stay away from him. He doesn't seem like the right type of person for you. But then she encourages him to invite him to Jesus' wrestling game. And, uh, you know, he doesn't realize it's a date. She's trying to flirt with him. Very funny scene, by the way, when Lexi texts her, says, try to flirt. And Mariana says something probably, like, really, um, just really, like, out of nowhere. Just something really random. And Zach's looking at her like, what the hell did you just say? And, uh, you know, he's not really happy. You know, he just, he doesn't really know what she's talking about. That, you know, she doesn't really know what she's talking about. And what ends up happening is he finds out that they are on an actual date. And it seems to be going well for them. He says, you want to go out on an actual date? He does kiss her, which was sweet. Um, I, we weren't really sure if he had feelings for her. We, we pretty much knew, but we weren't exactly sure. I mean, I thought this guy was gay in the beginning. I thought they were going to make him gay, but they didn't. Um, he actually really does like her. But then we see his mother um, yelling from the car. Get in, the, to get in the car and we don't know what it's about we don't know what it is but she goes up to him and he asks you know, and she asks him why is his mother so upset we don't know so this is going to be interesting we don't really know what's going on with Zach and it's not really something I expected to happen I didn't expect 
for Jack to have just a rough family life. It might be the reason why he might have seemed gay in the beginning, because maybe his mother said, ignore her, don't get any close to her, things like that. If he did say it has nothing to do with Mariana. It has nothing to do with her. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens there as well. So overall, I love this episode. Every single plot was really interesting. Everything was really, really interesting in this episode. There wasn't anything that I thought was bad in this episode. I thought everything was really, really interesting. Really intense episode, especially with some of the Brandon and Vico scenes. Just, I'm really interested in seeing what Brandon is going to do to Vico. Um, I just remember his name. His name is Vico. Um, I'm wondering what's going to happen there. Also, uh, what's going to happen with Callie and her father? It's going to be pretty awkward between the two of them, considering they haven't seen each other in years. However, she did see her father, you know, um, when she was trying to steal, when she stole the sandwich. Um, she found that her father was released. You know, she hadn't actually seen him, but she was released, so that was a pretty big thing. And also, what's going to happen with Jesus? Will he choose Emma? You know, do you think he'll actually choose Emma? I'm really interested in what's going to happen there. And what's going on with Zach? What is his family life? We don't know what his family life is. I'm really interested in seeing what it is. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But that was basically my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys saw this episode. Again, my thoughts on this episode. Best episode of the season. I didn't find a single problem with it. Which plot was the strongest? Where do you think out um, some of the storylines are going to go? Uh, that's for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be my review for um, Team Wolf. So, see you then. Bye.